The State Assembly Judiciary Committee hosted a public meeting on the proposed $225 million Exxon Mobil settlement at City Hall in Bayonne on Wednesday. State Senator Ray Lesniak addressed the committee early on during the roughly 90-minute hearing, later summarizing his thoughts when speaking one-on-one -on -one with Hudson County View. Uh, the figure $225 million versus $8.9 billion, is there a compromise somewhere in the middle, or do you think $8.9 billion is the way to go? No, I would take $4 billion. That would, be sad. That would satisfy me. Look, there's, there's $2.5 billion of, 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 uh, of, of restoration damage. That's the key. Uh, that would be the, the, the floor for me. And then added on top of that compensatory damage so we could do things to improve the environment here, maybe the, uh, the, 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 the waterfront walkway here in uh, Jersey City and, and Bayonne. Uh, the key is that $2.5 billion to restore the damage that has, uh, has been done. That should be the starting point. And in your opinion, where does the figure $225 million come from? Um, I think that came from Ex straight from ExxonMobil. They said, look, we'll pay you $225 million as long as we can write it off on our taxes, as long as we can seek contribution from uh, other public entities, as long as we can throw in 16 other sites, hundreds of guests. Basically, I think it came directly from the lawyers of ExxonMobil. Jeff Tittle, the director of the New Jersey Sierra Club, also a staunch critic of Christie for years, said residents need to be fairly compensated for the damage created by Exxon pollution. That if you destroy resources that belong to all of us, you have to compensate the people for the loss of that resource. Not the politicians, not the government, the people. And what we see here is an administration that, where the governor said that this was a good deal, he meant for Exxon. Peggy Wong, the president of the Coalition to Preserve the Palisade Cliffs, expressed her concern over the Bayonne portion of the Hudson River Waterfront Walkway being contaminated by Exxon. Now, up until the settlement agreement was publicized recently, uh, we had no idea where in Bayonne the contamination was. Uh, it was very difficult to find that information out. So with the settlement agreement, we saw on page 5 and 6 that these sites are identified. And when we looked on the map, uh, we realized how much of it surrounds our walkway. Now, and also, not only our, our existing walkway, but our proposed walkway. And we hope to complete this walkway, uh, well, up until now, we had hoped to complete it in our lifetime. And the completion by that is it goes up to Bayonne Bridge. That is the start and end of our walkway, and it goes from there all the way up to Fort Lee in, in Bergen County. Additionally, Michael Wasigno, a 20-plus year Bayonne resident who founded the Bayonne Nature Club with his wife, expressed his frustration with the potential settlement by clearly stating, this deal stinks as bad as the bank vaults in hell where ExxonMobil keeps their money. This deal stinks as bad as the bank vaults in hell where ExxonMobil keep their money. You must say no to this deal and, you the, and say yes to the people of Bayonne and yes to the people of New Jersey, and yes to a clean and environment for our young kids to live on this planet. Furthermore, Matthew Zwirling, a 20-year-old Flemington resident that attends the University of Florida, said the Exxon settlement fulfills stereotypes people outside of New Jersey have regarding the Garden State. People view New Jersey as kind of an industrial waste dump and the turnpike, and they also see New Jersey as a government with a lot of corruption. This deal kind of supports both of those stereotypes for New Jersey to the rest of the country. Showing uh, a state that has, that has $9 billion worth of damages done, then settled for only $225 million, that screams corruption to the rest of the country. The last speaker of the day, Evelyn Sabal, 79, who has lived in Bayonne her whole life, actually stood up for ExxonMobil in this situation. provided me and my family with a roof over our heads, with um, clothes on our back, and food for our growth. During the Depression years, which is in the 30s, the Standard Oil of New Jersey, they cut the working hours from eight hours a day to four hours a day, so the fathers could, would have enough money to provide for their families. 
Before calling it a day, we also caught up with Bakir to get his take on the state's decade-long litigation with Exxon. When the state, through its own position, put $9 billion before the judge to, you know, to make it simple to only put it out at three cents on a dollar, uh, let alone all the other components that were added above that, just didn't meet the, uh, what seemed to be equitable. But what happens next as far as the committee is concerned, the assembly of the legislature? Well, well, the committee has done its job to the extent beyond giving the people, the people uh, uh, their voice and, and a chance to be heard uh, to uh, have presented uh, over an overwhelming uh, resolution that set forth in detail as to why we believe the judge should not approve the settlement. So we've done our work, we've uh, handed that to the court, and now it's in their, in their uh, providence. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.